Wow. <laughs> it held up. There it is. Look at that. You can see yourself in the little play button. Can you see Oz back there? 100,000 of you guys. This is kind of surreal. Thank you so much, everybody who's been a part of this. So now we need to find a place to put it. Somewhere, somewhere up here, maybe. Or we wait until the new space. That's right, new space, new studio space happening. This has just been too long filming in our studio apartment and we need more room. I'm excited, we're still figuring out how it's gonna look. This is gonna be somewhere in the new space. Thank you for hitting that button. Onto the cocktail. Welcome back friends, it's Anders. Today we are making Satan's Whiskers. The cocktail is actually a very interesting cocktail. It's a riff on another classic called the Bronx. And this one dates back to prohibition when you couldn't drink alcohol in the United States. At that time, alcohol was very evil. So this drink is very evil. It's really not, it's just a drink. It actually, there are two different ways to have this drink. You've got straight and curled. If you have whiskers, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the difference is very subtle. So once again, we are doing another side by side because I love comparing cocktails. And we're gonna have one straight, we're gonna have one curled. I'm gonna explain what that is. I'm gonna stop moving my hands around and we are gonna make a cocktail. So if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make Satan's Whiskers to the bar. We first see print of the Satan's Whiskers cocktail in 1930 in Harry Craddock's The Savoy Cocktail Book. But there was a place called the Embassy Club that was home to this drink. Now the Embassy Club was in Los Angeles. At the time, during Prohibition, this was an exclusive club for the celebrities. And it was owned by a gentleman named Adolf Eddie Brandstatter. Now Eddie, I'm gonna call him Eddie as if I knew him. Eddie was a friend to all the celebrities and he had restaurants all over LA. One of the restaurants that he owned was called Cafe Montmartre. And it was very popular because all of his friends, these celebrities would go there. So the general public saw celebrities and they wanted to go there. But then Eddie thought, I'm gonna give my friends a private place to hang out, drink and dance. So he opened up a place, the Embassy Club, right next to the cafe. I'm not gonna say the name again cause I'll just butcher it. And it was exclusive. You had to be one of Eddie's friends to get in there. Well, that's great for the Embassy Club and the celebrities but it's not so great for the cafe. Customers stopped coming to the cafe because they couldn't see the celebrities that they came to expect. So now the cafe is going under, so Eddie decides to open up the embassy club to the public. But now it's no longer exclusive, so the celebrities don't wanna hang out there. And therefore, the customers don't wanna hang out there and the place goes under. It's kind of a downward spiral after that. But there was a golden period where the embassy club was hopping with celebrities and they were drinking Satan's Whiskers. Harry Craddock writes that there are two styles. You can have this straight or you can have this curled. Curled meant it was made with orange curacao and straight meant it was made with Grand Marnier, which are two different orange liqueurs, but they're not that extraordinarily different. And it's just a small amount that we're gonna be using here. So it's gonna be an interesting comparison. I also think it's interesting that they didn't use triple sec, which would be more different than curacao, but hey, I'm not Harry Craddock. I'm not Eddie. Anyway, we're gonna make both of these. We're gonna taste them. And I'm gonna tell you if I like straight or curled or if I can tell the difference. The suspense. This one is surprisingly soft. Thank you for listening and now the booze. For this cocktail, we are gonna need gin, dry vermouth, sweet vermouth, orange liqueur, I've got curacao and Grand Marnier, orange juice, freshly squeezed, and orange bitters. It's a lot here, but I am making two cocktails, so pick one of these. Gin, this is the base. I'm using Plymouth. It's just a really nice, soft gin that I really like. It's gonna let the other components stand up. Vermouth, this is a perfect cocktail, meaning equal parts sweet and dry vermouth. These are both French vermouths. Dry is nice and light, complements the gin, and the sweet is also a little bit lighter. My usual go-to is a Cocchi Vermouth de Torino, an Italian vermouth, and it's rather rich. But in this cocktail, I think it would wipe out the dry vermouth. The Dolan is a little bit lighter, a little bit savory, kind of herbaceous. As for the orange liqueurs, the curled whisker is gonna be made with curacao, and the straight whisker is gonna be made with Grand Marnier. Now the Grand Marnier is gonna be a little bit richer, bolder, comes down to your preference. Orange juice, freshly squeezed. Orange bitters, I'm just gonna do a of this, whichever one you like. I'm going with Regan's because 
Well, I like it, and it was right there. <laughs> Let's build, but first, a word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by OpenSea Leather. OpenSea makes handcrafted wallets, and I've got two right here. This one is called the Gun Deck, and this one is called the Top Sider. They are made from full grain leather, 100%, which if you know anything about leather, that is top of the line. Every wallet is all one piece, so there are no seams. It's all folds. This hand stitching adds to the durability, but also looks cool. Because they are full grain, they're gonna get a nice patina over time. They're gonna age well, like me. I'm working on my nice patina. Open it up and you will have multiple pockets to tuck away up to 10 cards and plenty of cash. I like low profile wallets and all of these are. You can put this in your front pocket. Yeah, front pocket, you want low profile. If you're a guy, you don't want to distract from the natural bulge. Maybe I went too far there, but these are 100% made in the United States, Hawaii specifically, out in the open sea. Actually, that's not why they call it open sea leather. It's because Michael, the owner, is a Navy vet. That's why the nautical themes. These wallets, well, not these two, these are mine, but if you get these, these wallets ship same day for free. And if you use my code Anders, you will get 10% off when you order them. Can't beat that. Huh? Thank you, open sea leather. Back to the video. I'm gonna build these cocktails at the same time. They're gonna be the same build. We're just gonna swap out the orange liqueur. Let's start with the gin. Three quarters of an ounce of gin for both of them. Then I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of dry vermouth. Three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. Remember, keep your vermouth in the refrigerator. <laughs> Sorry. I laughed and it's not funny. You really want to keep it in the refrigerator. Half an ounce of Curacao for your curled whisker or half an ounce of Grand Marnier for your straight whisker. Half an ounce of orange juice and one dash of orange bitters. Now we can add ice and shake. I'd say give it a shake for eight to 10 seconds. and double strain right into the cocktail glass. That was the curl, here is the straight. If you'd like, it'd be good with a little orange oil on top or lemon, and then the curled, let's make a curly whisker. And there we have the Satan's whiskers, curl and straight. Cheers, I'm gonna have the curled first. I'm anticipating that it's gonna be a little bit drier than the straight. There's juice in there, but it's not a juicy cocktail. It's soft, it's delicate, now the straight. There is a difference. It's very subtle. In short, not surprisingly, very similar. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a favorite here. With the curled, I get more of the notes of vermouth. I do feel like that's a little bit more of an aperitif cocktail. The straight, you get a little bit more of a, an orange punch. I don't know. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all 100,000 plus of you who helped us get that thing. Thank you. Like and subscribe, straight or curled? No wrong answers, I'm just curious. I'll see you next time. Cheers. So now, as we work our way through this, I'm starting to lean more towards the straight, the Grand Marnier. Orange richness, like there's a brandy component to it. It's more pronounced as it warms up. I think I should have a job where I taste cocktails and decide which one's better. It is my job. This is our job now. This is my job. 